welcome back to some more Sidemen Hotel. Today we are uh, we're making a room for a vampire, a full moon guest. They're not a fan of the light. And now our reception also looks pretty poo. Maybe we can work on our reception and do it all up. If you've not seen the first episode of this, uh, this is Hotel Renovator, um, Lighthouse Flipper. But instead, we have a hotel that we own and we have a bunch of rooms that we've got to do up. And as you can see, this hotel is in a disarray. It is not in a good state. But don't worry because trust the old me. Look, I can save this place from this array and make it all look nice and dandy. Um, but right now, they're making us focus on the rooms only. This is one of our guests, I believe. Um, but if we go into room 103, this room needs to work on today. Now, unfortunately, when the game fully released, being today as recording, it wiped my OG game save. So literally, I've gone through the painstaking process of roughly recreating the room. Now, it isn't exact. What's happened there? It isn't exactly how it was. I've changed a few things. It's not as bright and as light as it was before. I need like a new lamp up here, maybe. Um, furniture. Put a lamp there as well. Why not? Um, but this is the room that we made initially. It's poo. It's absolutely awful. Um, we just ran around really quickly and did like a tummy TS room. Sorry, I'm in your room. I do apologize. Um, there we go. Right, so this is the new room though. Uh, and they have, we have preset requirements of what we need to do for the room, which I'll show you. Tablet. Creature of the night. Look, we have an odd guest today. Just looking at him tends to chill down my spine. Don't want to get on his bad side. So let's repair the room according to his wishes. He's used a lot of dark decorations and put curtains on the windows. They don't want much light. They're a vampire. So first off, it's a big room. He's got a big old suite. He's got a nice view of the park outside as well. We got my oh, this room's massive. Jesus! All right, we're here for a while today. So we got this is the room where Curry looks like, and we got to make it nice and new, um, but dark, dark decorations and curtains over the windows. So first off, we get to cleaning. So we remove all the all the crap. Is there any art on the wall we can sell? Uh, I don't think we can sell. That's quite a cool. You can go in three different ways. We need to go ham, we have to destroy, you know, just smack, 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 smack. These gotta go as well, the OG pieces. There's some natural light in here for now whilst I clean up. Open the window, there's some fresh air in there, it stinks. Oh, I've actually broken a tile there. This game, I feel like, exceeded all expectations, even both online, like, even for people watching it as well. I think we all saw this game, it was like, oh yeah, it'd be like House of Fun, but not very good. Um, like one of those standard simulation games. But I feel like this actually is. Potentially better than House Flipper. Maybe speaking too soon, though. We'll wait and see. Ooh! Wow, golden egg. You better keep it. Press F to collect golden egg. What's that do? Thousand dollars! Say less. There's hidden stuff around the around the rooms as well. Okay, so most of the trash is gone. Look at these lamps. Yeah, there you go. All the trash in the room is now gone. So now we need to take uh we need to Get rid of all the bloody walls and the floors. I'm gonna put some temporary lights in so I can actually see what I'm doing. There should be like temporary lights to use. It's just because it's getting darker outside. It's getting darker outside, that's what it is. Alright, you're almost there. The room is almost fully completely kitted out. Or well, gutted out, not kitted out, gutted out. Um I'm assuming there must be like let me go to this tablet menu. Where's the tablet menu? There must be like you must get skills that imp hammer, dynamite. Oh social media. Soundproofing, cleaning robot. Okay, maybe collectibles, letter, golden egg, characters, bookings. All right, <laughs> there's all the bloody floors and walls done, pretty much anyway. I'm sure there's some extra bits here and there, but now we've got to get cleaning. And luckily in this game, you can just go zoom, zoom, with humongous cheat code to be fair. So each guest had different decoration preferences. Fulfill their requirements to get extra tips and bonuses. So all we need is to add curtains, add candles and shades of black and red. That's the main requirements for the room. Oh my God, you can straight up just cover it instantly. You haven't got to place every single bit down. Oh, mad. Uh, what would, hmm. If I was a vampire, what would I want? Would I want grass in my room? Uh, would I want tiles? Wooden flooring seems like that's what they'd want. Oh, I might just go like ceramic tiles. It would be absolutely ugly as hell. Oh, screw it. I'm going red floor. It's for a vampire, you know? It seems to be fit for a vampire. And that floor there is uh, are good. So, donk, donk. I've made a mess as well. And in a bathroom, we'll go medium tiles. But we'll go like, we'll go like a dark one. 
in here. Right, that's what we're going for so far. You want his shades of black and red. We've already got already started that bar moving already. Now the walls. The walls, the walls, the walls. I think you gotta have like black walls it's got to, it's got to feel dark like a vampire's face in here you know it can't be feeling like some bright place if you don't if you don't get killed and eaten or sucked for their blood pause there, there is sucking that goes on in this room you know so it has to feel like a <laughs> a room full of suck oh it's quite a romantic <laughs> sucking room to be honest right now um yeah and then in in it so we do the opposite in here we do red tiles I feel like I'm not taking this game very seriously so far. We've kind of just gone for making stupid stuff. But hey, oh, be what it be. <laughs> I'm going to match what the walls are for now. It just feels more right. Okay, so in regards to furniture and stuff like that, then we need to make him... Uh, we need to have a... Let's get the first thing in, which is the curtains and the candles. Or the curtains at least. Let's get the curtains in. That's what they want. They like nice curtains. Now you can get big wide ones. Narrow ones, short ones. They have to go wide and we have to make them like red. Some kind of pattern on them. Oh, okay. I don't mind these. It's a shame they don't, touch, they don't really touch the floor. They're a little bit light on the bottom, but it is what it is. Um, so then the key. Oh, special. Ghost traps. Dog. Excuse me? Oh, oh yeah, the party. Um, you want to have a bed. What beds have we got? Have we got any more upgraded beds? Got like, any bigger beds? I found a lot recently. I'm pretty sure like, palace furniture. Look at this. This this feels like the vampire furniture. Uh, there's like a DLC or something. I don't know how I even got this. If you were a vampire, what type of bed sheets would you like? You'd want like, I wouldn't want stars. It's a Vic star room. No, it's fair. If I was a vampire, I'd keep it super, super simple. I could put this at the end of the bed. Do I like that? Kind of. Not really. I think it needs to sink above the bed, just to give it a little bit of um, a little bit of je ne sais quoi. What kind of wall decoration would a vampire like? Saying dark, mysterious. Oh, a bit of gold would be like up there, Ali. But it's saying so simple and not very <laughs> and not very effective. Ah, ah, oh, screw it. Ain't that bad? It's all right. It's okay. Um, now we need some we need some bedside cabinets. Should we give him should we give him these? The OG ones. We could put these our bedside tables like this. And the key request was candles, right? So you've got surely there's candles in there we can find. Excellent. One. Two. Three. And then one. Two. Three. There we go. That's what now we're getting somewhere. It's looking more like it's supposed to look. Um, furniture. So we've added some can. Wow, I've got, so, I've, got so, I've got so much room. Like, what am I going to do for the rest of the room? I need some like creep. No, he doesn't, want, he doesn't even want lamps. He wants candles. What I'm going to do <laughs> I mean, for the daytime or like, evening stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little camera here. I need to be a bit of like a stalker. He, he, look, he looks out into the park, takes photos of people. That's what he's got that there for. Also, I feel like he needs like a grand piano, you know? Is it something saying, saying you'd see like middle, middle of the night, you know? He's out here just playing. I'm getting pianist fires and vampire. Uh, okay, right. So even more stuff you need to do. Carpets. Only carpets. It's pretty hard ground everywhere. I have a mirror here, so like you can check how he looks before he goes out on his uh, killing spree. Maybe. Thanks. Simple. Not too crazy. That's cool. Chandeliers. Oh. These light. These are lights. We need candles. Decorations. We need more of these. Set of candles. Need a table probably. There we go. There's, there's a nice dining table. It's got eight people in it. Could be to sit there and eat on his own, of course. Um, what do we do? We need candles then in the center. That's the key thing. We need candles, lots of candles. It's like you have one between these chairs. What if we put the heads in here and that's like the victims that he's had a nibble on? And then what we'll do is we'll make it so this seat's slightly off. That's annoying, isn't it? I saw that you can get plates and all sorts. So what if we just make it so you have one, you have one set uh, plate and stuff down. He sits there and eats on his own. Look, he has his plate. And then he has, uh, you'd have, what, this is a glass of blood. Well, oh, no, this is more like it. Yeah, that one. Got a fork. 
A knife. It's got two knives, in fact. Hang on, we got a new guest or something. What's going on? Uh, tablets. Booking. Ooh. Three days. The cleanliness is now at eight. So we lost some money. Do, do we go in there and clean? Is that what it is? Do I have to go in there and clean for you? I clean it up. Oh, they're muddy footprints. What have they done in here? How they got it so dirty? That's kind of cool. That all the furniture lifts up to the ceiling so you can clean under it. <laughs> there you go. Hopefully that's clean now in there. Give a little clean void. Does that even affect anything? Do I waste my time? Oh no, it's 10 now. Look, so I've got to get the full maximum amount of money. So here is the room as it currently stands, right? You walk in. Got a nice little cup cupboard here. You got a little shoe rack. Put some other bits in there. Nice decoration. You've got a flower pot of dead plant. You've got a piano, uh, music. You've got a mirror here with, with a mirror again. And I guess some soap to wash yourself or like, I don't know, some kind of makeup. Then you've got a table, only, only for one. And you've got some statues, you've got candles, you've got a glass, a drink. You've got some candles there, candles there. Candle, candle, books. Uh, more books, books, books. You've got the camera looking out into the park. Come into this bedroom, you've got a, a golden lady. You've got bedside cabinets with candles on top of them as well. And you've got a bed, nice ornament above it. And you've got this, nice little ornament out here, little griffin. And you've got the dead body wrapped up here. You've got a sofa and a mirror. And in here is now we're going to work on the bathroom. So far, so good, I'd say. Um, now, hopefully, what bath has we got here? Oh, that's an interesting. What the hell? We've got some old school bath. Now, we've used this one in the last video, so we need to do something different. If you go for like a corner bath this time and put it like actually in the corner. What colors can you have to show? Oh my God, look at all these colors. There's just so much like, customization. It's nuts. I, I, want, I just want a dark shower, to be honest. There we go. So the triple wingspan for the mirror. I can put my decorations on top of here. Now, what I need now, then, I need, uh, I need a toilet again. Can we get, like, a big throne of a toilet? He's a vampire, after all. That's saying cool. What have we got? Ah, screw it, run it. There's a lot of empty space in this bathroom. Let's put, uh... <laughs> so we've got the toilet roll there. You put, like, a nice bar... Oh, actually, put a bar here in case you're struggling to get up, you know. And then we could also then... Let's get rid of this. There's a better one. With that, like a little lid over it. Actual soap, very necessary because, you know, you're always going to get like, you're going to get a bunch of um, blood on you from all these vampire attacks. So you've got to have a soap and a holder. Have a glass here for rinsing out your mouth or whatever I need. I don't know. Hairspray. That seems about right for a vampire. they got a lot of hairspray in. Um, have another cosmetic mirror in here. Because can you have too many? Probably not. Screw it, I'm putting this in. Big red carpet in there just to make it feel like it makes the room feel like it's more accomplished and more well put together. All right, so apparently now I need more decorative designs. Still, I need to have uh, some wall. Wait, I didn't want, I didn't know. I, to, I thought I was supposed to put lamps in. And I got to put lamps in. I have avoided putting lamps in the whole time. So put it away from the bed. A lamp here at the start. That'd be fine. Pretty cool lamp. Back that there. <laughs> All right. So I believe this is 103 done. This is the room made for the vampire. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, it's not bad. It's, it's, it seems fit for purpose of what was requested of me, you know? I like this room lacks the most. It's, it was kind of hard to do a bathroom well because you're limited to what you can get. But in here, they've got some great look. They've got great decorations that make it feel like... It all really works. I just think taller here would have been nice. So I think on the wall here. There you go, that. It was all those little features. You just need little bits and bobs here and there. And it adds it, it adds so much. Such minuscule additions, but it all adds up. Do some more paintings on this game, maybe. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Tell you what, that's not that bad. I think this is a pretty good little room. If you're happy with this, I feel like, yeah. It's the vampire, man. He better be happy with this, because I'd be upset if he's not. So we're going to finish renovation. And we're going to look at before and afters as well. Have a gander at the things we've achieved. So there's the uh, front porch where you first walk in. It was a mess. And now look at it. Pristine. Beautiful. I like the mirror idea here. Not had any radiators into the game yet myself, actually. A mirror there have been quite good. Oh, I didn't look at the rest. Ooh. Room offered. Plus $500 a day. Say less. The room is dark and gloomy. Just the way I like it. Can you take me to the basement? No, there's one request. Take me to the basement. Be taken to the basement. Excuse me? Is it this way? Oh god. Are you sure? It turns to a horror game now. This game seems honestly, this game seems like it's pretty cold. Oh Please don't turn on light. I can see the sign. Interior dark and damp says prayer. What is this chest? What chest? Empty chest and find a special item. What chest? Why why are we down here?
This chest? Open chest. Oh, who are you? You the man? I found saying I found a memento. Do I, do I dispose of stuff? Is this like a coffin? Am I being put? Are you going to push me in? This is Belfast Uniform interesting. The badge says Roy. That's Grandpa's name. Bond This is what I do in the bed. I think I'll stay here. I'll pay for him, of course. Don't fret. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll just stay in there. He, he's staying in the coffin instead. In the basement. Well, great. No. We two birds with one stone. While our strange guest sleeps in the chest, our new customer can stay in room 103. We doubled our income. That's all well and good, but that room's made for two grand. That room's made... For a vampire. Why would anyone else stay there? Well, there we go. That is it for today. Our lovely, beautiful vampire room is complete and done. And it looks like our next mission for the next episode is a band called Destroy or Destroy. I'm going to come and perform. So I need to add like a band stage downstairs in the lobby. So next episode will be more about the lobby instead of actual hotel rooms. So this game is making some big old progress, you know. So if you enjoyed it, want to see some more of it, please do support it. Because, um, yeah, it'd be great if these videos do well compared to like, reactions and stuff. Um, so leave a like on it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.